As we are reminded of the overwhelming power of scientific discovery, we learn from century-old discoveries all over again and dive into the borderline supernatural. From alien messages in the stars to artificial rain in Dubai. So as technology advances, so does our understanding of the world and beyond. And science exists as a way to provide answers to the pressing questions that we have. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent science discoveries. Nikola Tesla's invention from 100 years ago makes headlines today. World-renowned inventor Nikola Tesla has made his mark on history and still inspires scientists today. His revolutionary inventions have stood the test of time as we continue to enjoy his seemingly miraculous creation of AC electricity. His lesser-known inventions, however, have largely been forgotten. Until now. Tesla created a macrofluidic valve, also known as the Tesla valve or an earthquake machine. To say the least, his invention was misunderstood and overlooked. The practicality of the device was not fully realized at the time. Only 100 years later has his device begun to receive recognition as a brilliant piece of machinery. The Tesla valve is designed to be a conduit for fluids in which the main channel is scattered into various diverting teardrop-shaped loops. The loops direct the fluid to easily flow through in one direction but block it from flowing in the opposite direction. It is similar to a check valve, commonly used in plumbing. However, the main difference is that Tesla's valve does not incorporate moving parts. This allows the device to last longer and minimize wear and tear. A prominent professor at New York University's current Institute of Mathematical Sciences, Leif Ristroff, said of the valve, While Tesla is known as a wizard of electric currents and electrical circuits, his lesser-known work to control flows of fluid currents was truly ahead of its time. Ristroff was a pioneer in exploring the old invention for new uses. He began experimenting with a replica of the valve to discover the secrets that awaited. Through his experimentation, he found that the valve would activate its flow-blocking capacity when the valve experiences turbulence and swirling vortices are created within the valve. These swirling vortices would establish a specific flow rate that would prevent the liquid from flowing in a particular direction. Ristrov claimed that, moreover, the turbulence appears at a far lower flow rate than have ever previously been observed for pipes of more standard shapes, up to 20 times lower speed than conventional turbulence in a cylindrical pipe or tube. How can it be used today? The discovery that shocked Ristrov and his team was finding that the valve performs optimally under unsteady conditions, with turbulence delivered in pulses or oscillations. This attribute made the valve a perfect candidate for high vibration environments. According to Ristrov, this was the turning point of their exploration. He said the following, It could be used to harness the vibrations in engines and machinery to pump fuel, coolant, lubricant or other gases and liquids. Within a standard vehicle, this exact form of turbulence is created, making the Tesla valve an excellent candidate for managing fuel and other liquids within a car. Ristrov speculates, It's remarkable that this 100-year-old invention is still not completely understood and may be useful in modern technologies in ways not yet considered. Physicist claims alien messages may be hidden in the stars. Everyone has at some point wondered about the possibility of life outside of Earth. It is nearly impossible not to when gazing into the empty, never-ending space above us, counting the stars. With space being so vast and seemingly endless, many wonder how or why we have not yet contacted extraterrestrial life. This phenomenon has been named the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox refers to the confusing contradiction between the complete lack of evidence for extraterrestrial life and the seemingly high probability of their existence. Some scientists believe they have the solution to explain why we have not made any contact with aliens. Terry Rudolph, a quantum physicist at the Imperial College London, suggests that aliens have been attempting to communicate with us through the stars themselves. Rudolph speculates that if aliens were to communicate vast distances, they would likely attempt to do so in more subtle ways, as to direct any communication to one planet without interference from other extraterrestrial life. As a result, a possible method of communication would be through the stars. 
He further explains his hypothesis by stating that aliens could potentially manipulate the photons inside individual stars to alter the light emitted from them. This fluctuation in the light of a star could be translated if we could uncover the code. Rudolph postulates, photons can propagate billions of light years and retain significant quantum coherence. This makes stars a reliable resource for communication and allows for messages to be sent across extremely long distances without disturbance. He believes that this method of communication could be appealing to an alien population if they are aware of other alien populations that pose a threat. So how can we translate these messages? As an extensively educated physicist, Rudolf feels confident in the possibility of this theory. However, he does not claim that aliens are communicating in this manner, rather that it is possible. If his theory were true, it still leaves one crucial issue. We have no way of translating messages in the stars. If aliens were utilizing this method, they would need to provide us with some form of a decoder to allow us to understand any of their messages. Until then, surely it remains a mystery. Artificial rain is created in Dubai. Dubai is famous for its extravagance and wealth. The United Arab Emirates is the third richest country in the world, and Dubai alone houses 52,000 millionaires. As the summers get hotter, the entire federation of Dubai is making it rain. Literally. The United Arab Emirates consists of long stretches of desert. In recent years, the desert only received about 4 inches of rainfall per year. In contrast, America's capital has averaged about 45 inches of rain and London 23 inches per year over the same period. Without adequate rainfall and as temperatures continue to rise year after year, the UAE began to feel the pressure to find a solution. The solution they have settled on seems to be artificial rain. Meteorologists in Dubai have recently released a video of cars driving through heavy rainfall in Ras Al Khaimah. However, this was not your average storm. The rain was created by man and not Mother Nature. But how did Dubai artificially create rain? They accomplished this amazing feat by deploying drones, which would send electromagnetic currents into clouds and the energized air would cause water droplets to clump together. This created rain droplets that were large enough to spur a rainstorm, instead of evaporating as they would in their smaller state. Kerry Nickel has been the leading meteorologist on the team that made this happen. She explained her mission as trying to make the droplets inside the clouds big enough so that when they fall out of the cloud, they survive down to the surface. Nicol and her colleagues at the University of Reading in England set out to achieve this goal back in 2017. The UAE Research Programme for Rain Enhancement Science supplied them with a grant of $1.5 million to do exactly what they have accomplished today – to create rain. The Research Programme for Rain Enhancement Science also invested in roughly nine different research teams across various projects with this goal in mind, but it was Nickel's team that managed to win the gold. After extensive research and planning, Nickel and her team built four demo drones to begin testing their hypotheses. The drones were built with wingspans of about six and a half feet and were only meant to stay in the air for about 40 minutes. The drones were launched into the sky via catapult for their original mission. The drone was also equipped with sensors to measure the humidity, temperature and electrical charge within a newly forming cloud. The first time the drone would be launched, it would document this information so that the team could determine the next course of action. If the burgeoning cloud was deemed to be an appropriate candidate for creating a storm, the team would then determine where the cloud would need to be zapped to cause rainfall. With this information, the drone would be sent back into the cloud dispersing electric currents in the precise locations necessary and would inevitably create a rainstorm. As Dubai continues to prosper, its population grows at an increasing pace. Between 2005 and 2010, the resident population in Dubai more than doubled to a whopping 8.3 million. This created an unexpected spike in demand for water. As Dubai sits in the middle of a desert, this proved to be an alarming development. According to American intelligence agencies, Dubai uses about 4 billion cubic meters of water every year, but only 4% of that is available to them in renewable resources. To make matters worse, the population only continues to grow. 
their reported population sits at an amazing 9.9 .9 million. While the plan to continue producing artificial rain seems to be a successful one, the UAE is not without a backup. Their next incredible idea is to move water towards the UAE by directing icebergs from the Arctic to float to Dubai. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community by working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.